Second semi-final in the men's light fly. What a thrilling opener to this afternoon's action. And this promises to be equally as entertaining. Shin Yong of Korea in a rematch of the Asian Games final. And there's a chance here for Sadama Pervadov of Mongolia. Well, the defending champion, remember, in this weight category, the gold medalist from 2009, to maybe seek a little bit of revenge. So... Very interesting bout indeed. There is the Korean boxer, in the blue, of course. And the Mongolian in the red. It wasn't that long ago, the Asian Games. Here's Pervadov. That's the key bit of the graphic that you really want to focus on right at the bottom. 2009, World Championship gold medalist. And this young man is not going to let that championship title go without putting up a fight. But... And it is a huge but. Winning the Asian Championships, Yong Shin also knocked out Pervadov in that competition and knocked him out in style. Not to knock out, knock out, but put him out of the contest 25 to 16. So Shin, who is ranked two, is definitely the boxer to watch out for here. Sinar, our Turkish referee, responsible for the boxers in this bout. Second semi final of the men's. Light fly. Confirmation. Pervadov in the red for Mongolia. Xin Yong for Korea in the blue corner. Both boxers have had exceptional championships. Let's look a bit. Talk a little bit about their statistics. 26-year-old against a 22-year-old. The older of the two, the Mongolian boxer. In the red, of course. Shin, 22 years of age, but slightly taller of the two boxers. In the blue for Korea. Now, as we saw in the opening semi-final, Zhu Ximing of China... Started putting points on the board very quickly indeed. And that gave him the advantage almost through the competition. And it looks to be the same tactic from the Mongolian. Out of the red corner, Shin Blue. Last time these two boxers met, Shin got the upper hand. He's got a slightly taller frame and reach. Shin in blue. He's also got a pretty powerful right hand as well. Watch carefully for that. Good work with the jab. Well, Shin in blue was a bronze medalist at the 2009 World Championships. Lost to David Arapatian, who's just lost to Zhu Ximing in the semi-final. So, an indication that the ranking system speaks for itself, has worked well at these World Championships now. And uh, confidence is there, isn't it, from the Korean in blue. Started well. A little bit of caution, which we've seen many times in the opening rounds, but here's Shin on the attack. Combinations. Putting that left jab out. Just under a minute to go in this opening round. Evenly matched. But Shin putting in that little bit more work. Put of a doge. Happy to sit back and try and counter the attack from the Korean. Oh, and there's a nice little score there with the hook from the Mongolian in red. Good right hook. And again. Well, the Mongolian is just starting to demonstrate now that he's uh, maybe knocked out of the Asian Games by his opponent today. But that's behind him.
Good start for both boxers in this opening round of three here. Evenly matched and the judges agree. 4-4 four, four for the Mongolian and Korean seed two. The two and three seed here. Battling it out for a spot in the final. Who's going to meet Zhu Ziming? Yong, ranked two, up against the defending champion, Sardamba Pervedorj from Mongolia. 4-4, couldn't be any closer, couldn't be any more evenly matched, these two boxers. Slightly different styles, much more compact boxer than Mongolian. Very fast with the hands, trying to use that long jab. Korean in blue. Both boxers know that now is the time to try and draw clear. Absolute respect for each other. Out of the ring. Cheers from the Mongolian supporters. Thinking that that was a point score, thinking that he'd hit the target there. Not quite sure it was. Again, very close. Coming up to the halfway point in the second round of three. And the dilemma for the boxer is not to risk too much for fear of a counter. And when you're still. 4-4, four, four, or if you want to say at 0-0, zero, zero, no points, we're level, it's the risk of just let making an error and losing it purely because you gamble just a little too much. Oh, that seemed to go through, through the guard. And it looks to me that the Mongolian is now starting to make his mark. And again, good blow there. Mongolian in the red is starting to look a lot more confident, certainly warmed up. And looking for that revenge from the Asian Games. He was absolutely devastated to be knocked down in the preliminary rounds. Again, very close. Looks like the winner of this second round will be the clock, because we're at 23 seconds. Shin so quickly, as soon as the referee says box. Looking to get on the attack, but for... the Mongolian. Oh, there's a good jab. Good jab from Shin there. With the left hand, it's all loose, it's very fast, there he goes, end of the second round. Well, close maybe, but those jabs working for Shin, 11-7 clear now, drawing three points clear.
Four point advantage for the Korean. Shing Chung Hun is the correct pronunciation. And that is a healthy margin going into the third and final round. This is the defending champion, the red corner, who's now got a lot to find. And again, this is the way that the little slip there, not the blow from the blue corner. And for me, well, the Mongolian defending champion just needs to start now, maybe taking a risk or two. He's got to take it. Holding and a blow to the back of the head. You can see the urgency from the Mongolian, wants to get straight back into it. He knows now that after that second round, an impressive second round from the Korean, he's got to raise his game. Very quick still. After six, seven minutes, the Korean still on his toes, still working well. Good wide stance, but from the front to the back foot, in a similar style to uh, Zhu Ximing from the opening bat. Able to so quickly get himself out of trouble, and again, some good close blows there. Past the halfway stage of this third and final round. And again, Zhu Xin, Xin Chung Yun, the Korean second seed. He's taking control of this fight. Well, for Sadamba, the Mongolian boxer, it's starting to go against him as it did in the Asian Championships. Both boxers tangled up, tripping over each other. No infringement there. Clock stops if you look carefully at the graphic on the left of your screens. And until the referee says box, the clock then starts ticking away again. A minute for the defending world champion from the 2009 Championships in Milan, Italy, to turn this bout around. Trailing by four, and the Korean again with another good hook. The jab is fast, and the right hand as quick in this third round as it was in the first. He's got the boxing skills, and he's got some impressive stamina as well. Good one, too, from Shin Chong-yun of Korea, looking to book himself a spot in the final of the men's Light fly division here. Just watch the height of the blows, the referee tells the Korean. That's a good combination from Pervedorf of Mongolia. But is it all too late? Good jab again from uh, Shin Yong Chung. And again, these are good punches from the Korean right towards the end. The final blows from the defending champion. Possibly all in vain. Celebrations have already started, haven't they? He knows he's done it. But the turning point came in the second round. We've been saying this throughout these championships. They're not looking for a knockout. It's not about having one good round. It's about setting it up and then carrying those point scores through from one to two to three. And that's exactly what Shin Chong Hun has done for Korea. If you're a gambling man, I suggest you put your money on the blue here. <laughs> and there it is, confirmation. Shin Chong Hun of Korea will join Zhu Ximing of China in the final of the men's light fly category. And that will be contested here tomorrow at the Haydar Aliyev Sports and Concert Complex in Baku, Azerbaijan. Confirmation 
4-4, very close at the beginning. Shin takes the advantage in the second round and takes the third, 9-4, to go through to the final of the men's light fly division.